Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 116 OTR on the road in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm here with my friend Shana Knoll and Hi. you can find us at beachwalks.tv. So today we have an interesting show, I think, for you. Um, Shana is a musician, yes. sings beautifully, and I'll provide you some links with her CDs, which is a whole other interesting story we'll cover another time. But today um, she's offered to do a tarot card reading with me. So uh, if you're not sure or don't know what tarot is, I'll have lo links in the show notes for you. But meanwhile, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to shuffle the cards. Please. Shana's going to help me figure out a question to ask, and she's going to give me a short reading, and we're going to let you all in on it. Okay. So thanks for joining me today, Shana. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, so we were talking about your um, pulling a card to get a gift of insider guidance from your soul, which is what I believe inspires the choice of the card. Uh, what will help you keep yourself and your own well-being forward and present with all that's going on in your life? Mm -hmm. Is that kind of... Yes, that's, that's great because I'm traveling, I'm doing the show myself, I'm also working. I'm going to be in three different cities, I've got a lot going on. Okay. And, uh, during and that's those, a challenge for you? Yes, during those times I tend to put me at the very end and you know, worry about all these other responsibilities that I have. Okay, so, so just this will be very shuffle helpful. the cards, mix them up and just let those challenges um, as you experience them in your life um, go through your mind. And when you're about to finish, just ask to be inspired to choosing the card that will best communicate to you. A touchstone for self and well-being. Mm -hmm. Great. Amidst the madness of life. <laughs> and excitement. And yes. Okay. You want to spread okay. them for Sorry, I will spread them. <laughs> and not the usual surface. <laughs> it's what we've got. But it's rough and ready, which is how my life is right, right. now. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's see me... which one jumps out at you. Uh, I'll take this one. Okay. Let's gather up the I'll rest of them. The Here's the card she's pulled. The Two of Swords, and the card is called Peace. Yeah. Swords is the suit in the tarot that represents the mind. And so this has to do with finding a way to have a peaceful resolution, to have your mind be able to see your way clear, to how to bring together things that have been in Oops, conflict. I'll get that okay. later. <laughs> Things that have been in conflict that you haven't been able to see your way clear to how they can come together in a peaceful, harmonious way. Mm. This would indicate as soon as in the next two minutes, two hours, two days, two weeks, that you have the opportunity to really be inspired intuitively to just see how it can come together. You, your life. Ah, the two swords. Your well-being, the stuff of your life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so it, it is a mental card. It says it's, it, it's likely to be a thought, mm -hmm. an inspiration, something you can invite Mm -hmm. Help me see my way clear to how my well-being can intersect harmoniously with what's on my plate today. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, good. Helpful? <laughs> it feels, I'll tell you, it feels very good. And um, for those of you that watch the show a lot, my mind is always working. And so to actually call upon my mind yes. to assist me instead of running amok with what I would call the number two chattering away in the background right um, feels very grounding for me excellent and and very helpful now I'm just noting the card that blew out of the deck do okay, we have a I'll moment for this because yeah. that's an interesting coincidence Experience. yeah yeah just I'm assuming it's backup or support for this Ooh, the card that I blew out of so. the deck the ten of cups cups is the heart or emotional matters the ten of cups is called satiety it's emotional fullness satisfaction overflowing with deep contentment at all that is well in your life. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing to remember if you start to feel like you're running on empty or your energy's depleting is to just remind yourself, look at my life. It's wonderful. All is well. How, how lucky am I that these are the challenges facing me? Could I be at peace with doing my best in this moment? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh. Well, fun, fun, fun. I hope you all enjoyed that. You know, Shana does uh, something called Life Path Profiles that involves um, a process of looking at you and your unique birth date and right. what, what year you're in. 
um, and using the tarot. Your life path as a whole, there's information available from your birth date about the map of, map of consciousness, map of your life. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll provide a link to that in case any of you are curious about that. Um, and you had offered beforehand, I is it still available? To, to share a song? Yes. Yes, I'm very happy okay, to. Great. Okay. So. This is a little song um, of parting and blessing. Um, I sang it to Roxanne. She's given thumbs up on this song for today. So here it is. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way home for you, you so much. guide your way home mm. love you sweetie love you too mm. and we love you too i love you I <laughs> that's one of the things we practice mm. yeah, if you'd like to skype please do so at Roxanne Darling. If you'd like to leave a voice comment for Shana or me, or Lexi, you can call 949-544-1456. Aloha, everybody. Goodbye. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.